Hey guys, it's Roya, and I'm here today to talk about speed versus velocity. Now, average speed is defined as distance over change in time. And uh, this delta T symbol uh, means change in time. Now, average velocity is defined as displacement over change in time. If you don't know the differences between distance and displacement, I would suggest you go back to my previous video where I describe how distance is a scalar and displacement is a vector. Um, so since speed incorporates um, a scalar over a scalar, then speed itself is a scalar. Since velocity incorporates a vector over a scalar, then velocity inherently has a direction and is therefore a vector. Uh, let's give an example of the difference between average speed and average velocity. Say you have a mouse in your backyard and it's scurrying around looking for food. Say it travels two meters in this direction, turns around and travels two meters that direction, and then turns around and travels one meter that direction. Ignore the up and down and just focus on the side to side. Um, so this is a total distance of five meters. And let's say that this whole thing was done in one second. Then the, dis uh, then the average speed would be five meters, the total distance, over one second, the total time. The average velocity, on the other hand, is the displacement over change in time. And the displacement, as you can see, uh, I'm sorry, here's the displacement, between point, uh, between point A and point B is only one meter. Therefore, the average velocity is one meter over one second, and that's one meter per second. Now, the same can be true of a car um, on a racetrack. So, say this is the racetrack, a very ugly one, I'm sorry, um, and this is a car zooming along. The car might be zooming along at 100 miles an hour, but once it reaches this point right here, its average velocity is zero because it has traveled, um, it has been displaced by zero meters across however many seconds, or zero miles per hour. Um, now, say I were to draw a velocity versus time graph, and I made it look like this. Now, I want you to try and figure out where the point of highest velocity is and where the point of highest speed is. I hope you've uh, I hope you've figured that out on your own, but I'm going to go over the answer here. So the area of the highest velocity is here because this is the most positive value. And remember that velocity incorporates direction, so you want the highest value on the graph. There's nothing above this. However, the point of uh, greatest speed is actually down here because speed does not incorporate direction. You only look at the absolute value of the magnitude. So this speed, even though it may be negative 20 and uh, this one may be positive 10, the absolute value of this is greater, and therefore the speed is greater. Uh, so now I hope you realize the difference between vectors and scalars and speed and velocity.